All right, here's how I go through annual planning. I first cut up a lot of little sheets of paper. There's really no magic to the size, but I'm gonna write on each one of these the different things that I'm going to do throughout the year. They're gonna be in big clumps. They're not going to be very, very specific. I do like to color code them into the three things that I tend to spend my time on. Courses, surface design for pink, and travel in purple. I could do many more details with my family events, but if, take, if it takes up a week, then I make a little sheet for it. Then I bring out my big year at a glance calendar. You don't need this, but you can also just draw this on a big sheet of paper. We're basically just going to put our little sheets spread out throughout the year. I like the color coding for this purpose because then I can see where there is a lot of teaching clumped up or a lot of art clumped up. It makes me space out my rhythms, just the natural way that I work where I'm really ready to take in some artistic inspiration or really ready to go out and teach it. Now we're not finished yet. At this point, I can just stop and think and assess if I need to move anything around or add anything in. I decided to add in that I want to prep for next year by doing what I did in January and December, and I'm adding in some rest times after what I know will be a busy time. Now that I've got this pretty ironed out, I can move on to my big wall calendar where I, have, where I have everything written out. So I have all the dates in here and this is where I get more nitty gritty on the days that the school is out, even down to what my mood generally is within a month. I'll write my focus or whether it's a time of rest in that upper right hand box and on the bottom, I write my wins at the end of the month what I'm proud about for each month as I move on to the next one. I really rely throughout the day on my digital calendar, and that's what I'll show you now. On Trello, I transfer a lot of this information for my curriculum, what I need to do every month, and that way I have these reminders set out for me and ready to go. When I want to get really nitty gritty, I'll do my week in Trello. I'll often bounce back and forth from digital to paper, so don't feel like you have to be tied down to anything to make it be perfect. Just do what works for you. If you found this helpful, let me know.